In this tutorial I'll show you how to add 3D objects to videos in After Effects. Begin by adding a video to the timeline, then open Effects and Presets window, search for 3D Camera Tracker and add it to the video layer. Then in Effect Controls expand Advanced and enable Detailed Analysis. Then just wait for the analysis to complete. And once it's done you should see a bunch of tracking points added to different parts of the video, but if you don't see anything you must have clicked away. To fix that, back in Effect Controls just select the 3D Camera Tracker effect and you should see the points again. Now as we move the cursor around we will see this target icon that gives us the idea of the orientation that the object is going to have if we add it over here. But we can always change that later so that's not really important. So let's say I want to add a house in this area. So I'm just going to move the cursor here, right click, create solid and camera and that will create the solid as well as the camera. And if we play this now, the solid will be stacked to this place and it's not going to move. Now under the preview, you will see this render option. In my example, it says advanced 3D. So make sure you select advanced 3D as well for advanced lighting and shadows. Then let's add our 3D model. And there are many different websites where you can get 3D models. Some are paid, some are free. You can also create your own with AI. That's completely up to you. I'm going to use this example that I found on Sketchfab made by Young Wizard. I'm just going to click download 3D model and After Effects supports GLTF and GLB formats to download either one of these. Then as you download them, they will probably be zipped. So make sure you extract all and then add the GLTF or GLB format file into the project. Then drag it to the timeline and it's going to open this window here. Click make comp size. That's so will adjust the size based on our composition. Click OK. Now we need to move our 3D model on top of the solid layer. To do this, we find the parent and link column and then under there, expand the drop down menu next to the 3D model. Then hold the shift key on the keyboard and select the track solid one. And then make sure you select none because we don't want the layers to be actually linked. Now let's expand the settings of our 3D model, going to transform. And here we can change the rotation, that is the orientation scale and position. Although position is better to change from the preview directly by selecting layer and dragging these arrows. So let me do the adjustments. And after you're happy with the placement of the 3D model, we need to add light and shadows because at the moment we don't have any shadows and it looks very, very flat. So to do that, we go up to layer, new light, make sure you select environment light and enable cast shadows, then click OK. Now, if you don't see the shadows after adding the light under the render options that we've changed before, Open that, go into render options and here click fit to scene and that should bring back all of the shadows and also make sure you increase smoothness so your shadows don't look grainy. Then click OK. Now in order for our 3D model to properly cast shadows onto the scene, we need to have some sort of layer below it. Like we have the solid layer over here, but at the moment the solid layer is not big enough because it, the shadows cut off over here. To fix that, we select our solid layer, press S on the keyboard and make it really, really big, like extend it all the way. Now the shadows will be cast upon nicely, but the solid layer is covering the half of the video. To fix that, we can open the settings of our solid layer, going to material options. And here where it says accept shadows, we're going to click on that until it says only. So now we still have the shadows, but we no longer see the solid layer. So that is the trick. Now we need to adjust our shadows based on the shadows that we have in the actual video. So if we scroll a bit forward, we can see the car and the shadows are to the right of the car. That means that the light is on the left. So we're going to go up to the settings of the light, go into transform, and we're going to adjust the X and Y rotation until we match that shadow direction. So something like that will do. You can also go into light options and adjust the intensity if it's too dark or too bright, and also adjust the shadow darkness as well so you don't have very dark shadows. And I've just realized that our house is very massive compared to the car, so I'm just going to make it smaller and also move it slightly toward the camera. And now as we play this back, we will have this realistic looking 3D model house added to the video. Thank you guys for watching.